Uh, if you're building a curved turnout um, by hand, not using a fixture, using the traditional methods of, of uh, hand laid track, and you want to use the frog helper to uh, preform or pre uh, solder your, your frog points, like we did with the uh, with these straight frog points, there's a uh, I'll show you the the uh, the technique. Uh, it's pretty much the same, uh, but you want to pre bend your rail first, uh, which I've already done, and with the bent rail, file your frog points on it using the uh, just a standard frog point uh, or just a standard uh, point form tool and I've already done that uh, what we're going to do is we're going to slide the rail into the frog helper now, even though this is curved rail it won't matter it'll straighten itself back out in the uh, in the tool but the uh, the bend will stay on the very end I'll show you what I mean here let's get it in the tool just slide it forward like that. Okay, I'm just going to slide it forward, all the way forward, until the two halves meet, just like we did when we did the straight one. But you'll notice that even though the rail is, is straight here, it kicks out on the end. That's because we had pre-bent that rail, and that stress is staying in there. That's exactly the effect we want. So now I'm going to solder that in place. A little bit of flux. And just like we did with the uh, with the straight rail, just apply the heat on there, and let it sweat. There we go. That's exactly the effect we want. I'm leaving the heat on so it's it's drawn the heat and the solder right down in between the two halves. We'll let that cool for a second. Uh, one way if, that you can quickly cool something is actually put a metal piece onto it. This will act as a heat sink. It's going to draw the heat right out of that rail almost instantly. I can actually touch that now, it's cool. So now I'm just going to pop this out of here. And you'll see when it comes out that it's going to go back to the curve. There. That's exactly what we want. If you're building a curved um, a curved turnout with a curved frog, which in uh, for model railroading use, most curved turnouts will have a curved frog, uh, just because of the space requirements. And this is a, a real slick way of doing it. It holds it all in place. And this angle is a number six uh, frog point angle. It doesn't matter that we've curved it. It's still diverging on a one, at, a, uh, at a number six uh, frog angle. That's ready to go.